Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. And it's the first yard sale finds video of the year. Now, it's winter, so, you know, this is from a state sale. Sales aren't coming up too often. The other thing I'd like to do this year is I'd like to try to find a way to make bundles of this stuff and send it out to you guys. I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. Uh, I will... Someone suggested doing a Patreon, and you pick someone on Patreon every month or whatever. I don't want your guys' money, so let me think about a way, because I come across so much of this stuff, I'd like to, you know, donate it your guys' way, if you know what I mean. So, I will ponder that. So, all this was $20. I went out uh, yesterday, so basically everything you could carry out was $20. This was represents probably... 90% of the tools that were at the sale. So let me point you down here. Let's see what we got. First, the sweet flashlight. Big beam, I think it says. Cool. Had to have that. Another oiler. I'm starting to get quite a few of these. Uh, far more than I need. <laughs> brand new bottle of heat, and I, it's not over here, but I got two brand new gallons of antifreeze at sale. When you go to estate sales, always look through the shelves. There's always, everyone has antifreeze and windshield washer, washer fluid and unopened motor oil and all that stuff. They pretty much give it away. The uh, flexible funnel. Okay, now, start going through the plastic garbage can. Because I couldn't find a box there. We have a... Made in USA... That's all it says. No brand anywhere. A pair of pliers. We got a... Grinding wood dresser. There was a grinder there, but I didn't buy it. It was really small. So USA made wheel dresser. I always get all the wire brushes and all the scrapers. I like these old metal ones. Got another. This is a Craftsman. Days of your oil spout. There's a chrome edge file. There's a heller. Mm, this side's good on it. Stanley chisel. I don't know how. I'm, I'm approaching 50 chisels, and I'll never ever use one besides as a scraper. I can't leave them because they're always nice. Here's a nether Stanley. That one's got a nice blade on it. Need some touch up. If I ever get into woodworking, then that's what I'll tell myself. I'm just preemptively stocking for that. Nicholson, pretty fine file. Here's a 10 inch, says tool steel made in USA. I don't see a brand anywhere on it, but Stilson wrench. Okay. There's more of this down here. I know this is a puller. I have lots of pullers, but I don't have one like this. It hangs in these cups. And there's, there's the other ones down in there. If you know what this is for, it's Industro, made in USA. I mean, it's almost like a steering wheel puller that got that shape. But the way these arms go on there is very interesting. Let me zoom you out just a hair. 
a Lutz 82 utility knife. Nice Craftsman. The old Craftsman logo hacksaw. Very nice. Tip cleaners. USA, the older style with the metal handle. Ratchet. I left all the sockets there. I didn't need any more sockets. Round file. There's one Cleveland step shank drill bit. They, there's a box of random drill bits, but I left all those, just took the big one. Here's a Challenger Drift. These two are cool. This is a, where was the brand on it? It is a Ward's Master. I like the handle on that. Just a beautiful saw. Here's the ones, wood handled adjustable ones. They'll take the different length blades. Uh, don't see a brand on it. Another nice hacksaw. Oh, these are Stanley Handyman. These are more like wood clamps. They come in handy. They're USA made. Got this cool vintage uh, stapler. I believe it's a Stanley. No, it's a Shakespeare number 101 tacker. It's a cool piece. Here's a, uh, oh, I forget what this is called. It's got a wooden handle. It's a woodworking thing. I don't know if it's like for countersinking or whatnot, but if you know, let me know. Or someone may just ground that, but it has a handle like a woodworking tool. Here's a Stanley square. Almost done. One random pipe die. Here's the other jaw to that puller. Grab the last few things, get the can out of the way here. Really cool bottle. Marvel Mystery Oil. It's old, there's no UPC label. Still got oil in it. That's just really cool. I'm not sure why I find it super cool, but I do. I love old metal oil or cans. USA made hex key set. A proto little screwdriver. Had to have that. Exolite. I love their screwdrivers. I love clear handle screwdrivers. Here's another tip cleaner. And a little uh, nail setter punch thing. So there we go. A lot of older tools, because at a state sales, that's a lot of what you're going to run across is older tools. And I left some. There was a whole bunch of Craftsman double opening wrenches. Uh, I got a quarter shoe box of sockets. Random drill bits. And the stuff I really don't need. So, not that I really need any of this, but... This was the more interesting stuff. So yeah, very cool. Some cool stuff in there. Again, I'll I'll think about trying to find a way to put some bundles together, and you know maybe a couple times a month send them out or whatever. But again, I don't I don't want to do Patreon or anything like that. I don't want I don't want you guys to give me any of your money or anything like that. So we will figure it out. This is Adam, Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.